For part D, uh, this again has like a question six feel to it. Actually, I know there was a question six in the past where students were asked to calculate a one-sided interval. And what we are looking at here is um, a student named Joaquim getting creative and coming up with a one-sided interval. And what that student did was they used this and the question gave you that as our formula, L equals P hat plus Z star uh, times the square root of P hat times one minus P hat over N. Um, what they're doing is they're only looking at a lower bound and then values up. So in this case, uh, what we need to think about is visually, this is what Joaquim is trying to do, set a lower bound and only look up. So basically look from what is the smallest possible number that we would expect and up. So we had to figure out first for part one, what is that Z star? Well, it really is basically the mirror image of what we just did in the previous question in, in part C, where we had the 1.645 over here. What's going to end up happening is um, we're going to use that same z-score, but we're going to look at it from the opposite side, from the negative side. So negative 1.645 is my z-star. And what I'm going to do with that then is I'm going to fill that in for my confidence interval. So here's my statistic, 43 out of 200 plus negative 1.645 times, and this is your successes, 43 out of 200, times your failures, 157 out of 200, divided by 200. That's gonna give you a lower bound of 0.1672. So realistically, this is looking like 1.672 all the way up to one. Basically, that would be that every time you roll the die, a six came up. Um, so we are 95% confident a one-sided interval for a six side facing up would begin at 0 0.611672 and include and increase to, I had originally said infinity, but that doesn't make sense, to one. Uh, part B then says, does this agree with Aurelia? And what we would have to say in this case is, yes, it does agree with Aurelia because that 1.6, that 0.1667, seven is not in that interval. It's below it. It's slightly below it, but it's not in it. So there may be a change in the proportions of sixes uh, being face up after baking a die. So what we've proven is, is that with this one-sided interval, one-sided interval would give us a significant result. Um, that being said, this is one of those questions where it, f it feels very question six to me because we really didn't go into great detail on this, but it is a nice question from College Board.